players for joining us. Jan, uh, appreciate you being here. And may I ask, uh, I think the question is, wh what happened uh, with this mistake that you made? No, well, uh, uh, actually, I couldn't imagine there, there is actually a way which exists to uh, blunder in this position. Yeah, like it's um, the position was some, somewhat between uh, like slightly better and uh, much better with, uh, I mean, during the, the, the most of the game. Uh, the, the the biggest part. So perhaps I could play something like before after a three. Yeah, just uh, more a direct approach, and I think it would be like uh, I wouldn't rule it like as crushing, but very promising. But uh, I guess after B a three, I mean, okay, this provides some more chances for Black to help, but uh, still, it's pretty one sided. Uh, yeah, but somehow, yeah, I think this Bishop D seven, Bishop E eight, uh, Black is trying to stabilize, and um, actually, I was. Uh, quite happy to find this idea queen e1 uh, and uh, just get a pawn into the end game but uh, yeah i mean of course uh like uh c5 is you know is even funny that okay there is there is a way to blunder this position in one move but yeah who could know uh you spent it seemed about 18 minutes before you came back to the board mm -hmm. uh, after magnus played the move c6 what mm -hmm. what was the time spent well i was trying to calculate if there were like any practical chances and uh Perhaps there is no big difference that you that, that you calculate uh, sitting at the board or in the room, uh, but uh, yeah, the best I could uh, I could produce was okay this uh, I don't know rook b six c five idea, but it's 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 far from any <laughs> anything realistic, of course. After you played c five, how long did it take to occur to you that c six was possible? Uh, until uh, it was played, okay. I was quite happy, but uh, I somehow thought that c5, bishop b5 is mandatory, but uh, I mean, yeah, okay, so that's uh, also the problem that c6 uh, idea never works while my pawn is on c4, uh, so you have just um, uh, some insanely bad luck. Uh, so just to clarify, so you didn't notice c6 until Magnus played it? Uh, indeed. I see. Uh, your feelings now about the match situation? Given five games to go, uh, it's worse than I expected. Uh, Magnus, uh, question for you. I'm going to ask the f the FIDE question first, given that it's appropriate just at the very beginning. Uh, people can tweet in their questions to FIDE Chess, and the question is: When Pragnananda played uh, C4 and Jan stayed with the move, uh, you kept on smiling. Uh, the questioner asked. This sorry, this is by Richard Feynman at Dicky Feynman Eleven. I would like to know Magnus's thoughts on this. Did he expect C4 or was it out of the blue? No, I mean, you expect everything, but uh, um, obviously it was, was a slight slight surprise. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, I couldn't know if um, Prague had any, uh, um, you know, uh, had, uh, had a prior knowledge or um, he was um, was just making the move he would have made at at the board. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm, uh, that's why I smiled. Now on some questions. You uh, must have been genuinely shocked when you saw the move c five appear, and you saw you could play c six. Yeah, it was pretty pretty absurd. So um, <coughs> I um, I thought I was doing. Fairly, fairly okay, uh, and then uh, knight knight e five, followed by knight g four was actually a blunder since I hadn't seen, I hadn't seen queen e one. Uh, I was considering all the other queen moves that don't trade queens. Uh, I thought I'd fortify my my knight with um, with h five, and I thought I'm I'm better. Um, and then queen e queen e one was was a shock at first, um, because I realized I'm yeah I'm just losing a pawn, but. Uh, I quickly, um, quickly stabilized and um, uh, evaluated the position as just probably a pretty uh, clear draw at that point. And uh, um, uh, obviously, it helped me to to see that yeah, c f c five, which is the most obvious try, just loses to c six. Um, and yeah, seeing it on the board was um, pretty absurd. But um, yeah, uh, what can you do? You call the, the you're using the word absurd. Uh, could you clarify why you use this word um, than any other? Oh uh, no, I, I, it's just because you don't uh, you don't expect to 
um, basically in a piece for foil for nothing, basically. And uh, I mean, what what can I say? As as he said, it's also it's also a bit of bad luck that he doesn't even have any try that gives him any chances. But yeah, yeah, I think absurd actually covers it pretty nicely. Your feelings on s winning such a game? You're plus three in the match. Yeah, as I said before, um, no style points awarded, so I'm <laughs> I'll take it. Um, it was um, it was a tough game in which I was under under pressure both on the board and on the clock, and um, yeah, just to turn around like that, uh, it's unexpected. And there have been speculation that maybe the way you lost before yes yesterday, and maybe even. Previously, the six-hour, the excuse me, the seven hour, even forty-five minute game, mm -hmm. uh, that maybe this has affected your play. Is is there any relevance to that assumption? Well, uh, uh, as you stated, uh, you know, there is uh, yeah, a few reasons to speculate, but in general, I think uh, this um, basically two one move blunders in a row is uh, a little bit too much. So. I mean, uh, uh, sometimes perhaps yeah, yeah, your opponent can blunder your way to victory. Yeah, so now uh, that's actually happening. Uh, but um, I mean, in general, of course, uh, there is uh, there is a lot of work to do to understand uh, why uh, why is it going on and like like this and um, you know what's the reason. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, like a concentration or maybe combined with some 